Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mastin, that's ZimTech guys. So in this video, I want to teach you things you can do with color mats. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit that like button. So uh, I've got these two clips here that I'm going to be using for this video. I'll leave a link to them in the description. I downloaded these from Pexels. The first thing that you do with color mats, first, uh, let's just, uh, uh, for those who are new to, to Adobe Premiere, this is how you access color mats. Um, go make sure that you're on the project window right here. Make sure here where it's highlighted and go under this uh, new item. Just click on it and click on color mat, right? Now, the video settings that you're working with uh, on your timeline already pop up. These are the default that come in. So. We just want to click where it says okay now uh here we get to choose the color pick a color of uh, uh that that we want to work with so you can uh, use the color picker here um let me just click on maybe uh, what color is it let's try this one and just click okay let's give it a name now it's uh, if you're going to work with multiple color mats it's ideal that you give it a functional name I'm not sure that color that I picked. Let me just call it blue. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call this color mat blue. And as you can see, it appears in the project window. Now we can do a lot of things with color mats. The first thing that I want to teach you, and this is the first one, is you can even tint your footage. So let me just come to the first video here. Um, I want to drag the color mat on top here and just make sure that it covers the maybe the whole video not sure how you use it uh, stylistically but um this is how a, a quick way of tinting if you don't want to go into lumetri color so now i just need to um, reduce the opacity um as you can see let me just play that back as you can see it's already um tinted to green the footage is looking green now if you double click on the color mat, you can actually get to change the color of your footage. Let me just try going for maybe a red so that you see the effect. I'm not sure if this is red. It's looking more orange than red. Let's just click OK. Automatically, you see the color changes. So, so that's the first lesson, how to tint video using color mats. The second lesson is we can use color mats for transitions. For instance, uh, let me just work with the same uh, color mat that I've created. Let me just drag it. Um, I want it to be between these two videos. So let me see if I get, make sure that I'm in the center. I want to go 10 frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let me just go 15 frames back uh, and just drag it here. Let me go to the middle again. Just make sure that um, I go to the middle. Okay, there I am. So I'm going to count 15 frames to the right as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Uh, I just want to make sure. All right. So at the moment, nothing is happening. Actually, you can use that as a transition, but that would be a very boring transition. So what I want to do is make sure that um, it's, it animates in. Uh, so how I'm going to do that, let me just uh, highlight on the, on the color mat. Now at this stage, I want it to be uh, covering the whole video. So I'm just going to create a keyframe for, for position here. So I'll click on that. Um, already there's a keyframe key for position, but let me come to the beginning there. And now at this stage, I want it, uh, I want the color mat to be out of frame. So let me just drag this, um, okay, up to here. And then let me just scrub through. So here it closes the video. And then we transition to the other video. So let me see, um, let me go to the last frame. I want to go to the last frame and at this stage now, uh, 
what's happening here. Let's see. Closes up to. Okay, so this is probably the last frame. At this stage, I want it to be here. Let me see how that goes. Let me just play back. You see? That's a very quick and easy transition. Let me see if I can highlight this and uh, probably try to easy in the, these keyframes as well. So right click, then easy in. Let's just play, back, play that back and see. Lovely. So that's the second lesson. You can use color mats as a transition. If you want to, you can even uh, make it uh, fancier. That means adding layers of um, color mats. Let me just add another layer. Um, let me just come here and then click a new color mat. Maybe this one, I'm going to make it uh, yellow, like yellow. Um, click OK. Let me just click that, drag that on top. Um, on top of the video so what i want to do now instead of so that we don't waste time um let me just highlight the the, the first uh, uh, the one the blue color mat and come to edit i want to copy the attributes that are there let me go to the top layer so that we don't get to animate again this is the quickest way again to just make if you're going to do something that's repetitive rather than you know punching in those things and dialing them in you can just copy attributes and paste them so now edit uh paste attributes i want all these things that are highlighted okay um yeah so the difference with this one now is that i want to make sure that the that the 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 width the scale of the width is uh, what can I say is is not uh, the same as the one with the blue color mat. I'm just going to reduce it a bit. So I want to affect the the width only. So let me just come here under scale and untick this way. It says uniform scale. And let me just bring it to maybe somewhere there. All right. So let me just come and play it back. You see, that's a fancy transition. Let me just try scrubbing it in so that you can see what's going on. See nice transition you can even add more layers to it as you as you play around with it so that's the second lesson guys you can use color mats for transitions now the third lesson obviously this this one is simple we can use uh, color mats as, as a background so so let's just highlight the color mat once again let's go under scale um antique where it says uniform i want the height maybe to be somewhere like this um and then the width, let me just drag something like uh, this. You can always adjust the height. Okay, click on the color mat. Let's try to change the position. Let's drag that to somewhere here. And let's, um, let's see if we can add uh, a title, maybe your name. Let me just type your name. Um, let's see if we can, can even change the font, Monaco, okay, let's just work with that, um, all right, so this will be like a, a title, maybe you're working on something and you want to give titles, so, um, you see, we can use that, we can actually use a rectangle under essential graphics to do this as well, might I add. But uh, the benefit why I want to use this is what I can even just start animating these things in. Let me just make sure that it's here. Let me just highlight so that I can drag them somewhere here. All right, as you can see, that's the uh, a title. You can add titles once again, but this, this looks boring. We can even animate it in again, the same way that we did with those transitions. Let's see if we can... Uh, uh, animate these things in so at this stage I say this is where we want the the the, the 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 title to show up on the video now what we need to do is um, set up a keyframe or position obviously this is where we want it 
let's go back to maybe somewhere here and then let's bring this out of frame all right let's play that okay now it's uh, it's a bit too slow let's see if we can move those keyframes let's play it back again all right that's much better so just highlight this highlight this key to two keyframes and to easy in them okay um easy in all right let's just play the back all right that's nice um now we also need the name to animate in not sure okay so let's just highlight let's just play that back so at this stage this is where the, the name comes in so once again we want to animate position um let's just click on position go back a few frames all right oh, let's see all right somewhere here um we want to add um keyframe once again no i need to move it out oh, let me just so we've added another keyframe let's just play that back okay it's not bad okay let's just highlight that easy in okay let's just play it back all right Okay, so the uh, the animation is coming in, and we can also go to the end of the 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 text as well, and the and the rectangle. Let me start with the text. I just want to I just want to copy these two frame uh, two. I just want to copy these two keyframes, yeah, uh, so that we don't waste our time. This is this time we put them in opposite because we want it now to animate out okay just like that so let's see let's just play that back so the name animates out so at this stage as well i want the the rectangle as well to animate out so control c all right let me see if i can just paste them here exchange them drag them and bring them somewhere here just play that back right something like that so um yeah that's another lesson you can use uh color mats as backgrounds for instance remember i said if you can even change the color there so the beauty about working with them is that if you let's say you for some reason you want to change the color you can just double click here and uh let's just say we want to work with uh, da, 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 da. maybe white let's try white already you see you can already change the color of the color mat which is these are very useful tools uh, to, to be working with now I hope you learned something from this video you can actually do a lot of things with color mats I always feel like uh, many people uh, haven't even uh, if, especially if you're starting out they don't realize how powerful color mats are so I hope you learned something in this video if you did um, please just leave a comment down below let me know how this video helped you out and uh, yeah if you like the video hit that like button otherwise see you in the next video this is Mustin that's Zim Tech guy